Hi, my name is Joni Eisinger. Welcome to my channel. If you're interested in having a reading, a healing with me, please go to my website, joniswhitelighthealing.com, and you'll find out how you can get in touch with me, find out more about me. I used to be a therapist in New York City for 10 years, and I did not believe in any of this. I became gifted with, an, with abilities in around 2003, 4, 5, and my life changed 180 degrees. I became able to do hands-on healing and remote healing, seeing into bodies, doing medical intuitive work, channeling departed ones and pets, etc. So I bring in the highest of Christ-like consciousness, no lower vibrations. I am not a fear porn psychic. There are no timestamps on this video. Today is February 7, 2021. So if you were seeing this video past that date and it resonates, great. If it doesn't, I suggest putting it on the shelf because spirit knows who will be watching and when, and maybe you'll have an aha moment at a later date. If it doesn't resonate at all, trash it. It's all fine. You could turn this video off whenever you'd like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do press the bell all icon and you'll receive notifications of when I put out another video. Like, share, and comment below. I love to hear what you thought of my video and I am taking requests for future videos. I bring in archangels and angels, ascended masters, departed ones and guides, consciousnesses, star beings, and elementals. So I did a Facebook Live last night for my Facebook friends, and I seem to be doing them now every Saturday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're interested in friending me on Facebook so you could be on one of those lives, uh, please message me, tell me how you found me, and then um, you'll be part of that. You'll get an announcement when I create another event. Um, I'm not doing personal readings there. I'm channeling information regarding what's going on today, and I'm assisting in supporting people and getting through this challenging time. Okay, so during that Facebook Live yesterday, um, the beloved ones, the divine ones, um, they came up with a great suggestion. And since I don't know how to edit um, videos, and I don't even know if I could pick it off of there and put it on here, uh, I thought that I would try and um, recapture it here and, and remember what they, they told me, and I would share that with you. So they offered what I feel is this great idea. It's a great project, and there are a lot of people that are inside um, due to quarantining and distancing, working from home, homeschooling. And it's also winter and, and cold in many parts of the world where people are inside. So, or could also very be very hot if you're in that part of the world where it is and you're inside. So they suggested finding a piece of paper and having writing material. It could be um, charcoals or pencils, colored pencils, crayons, paint, markers, um, whatever you like to draw with and coming up with your own animal door knocker. Now this would be something that you wouldn't display on the outside of your door unless you had a screen to protect it from the elements or if you lived in an apartment building and you didn't think that someone would swipe it off. And this is a project that you could do with children, you could do this with teens, you could do this with adults, you could do this for yourself any age, this is, I believe, a really good craft, a great project. So what you would do is, is that you would imagine what animal or two you would like to protect your home and also greet others. So the animals, these spirit animals or animal totems work with you specifically. And you could have more than one door knocker up there. So if there's more than one person living in the same residence, you could have as many door knockers up on the inside of your door if you don't have that type of privacy and protection and that you just intend that it's on the outside of the door. So you could, with maybe painter tape, so it doesn't peel off any paint, you could put the door knockers up and that together as a collective, the animals will be protecting your home and also 
welcoming in the ones that are of goodness, of higher vibration. It's a way of keeping out the negative and allowing in the positive. So the image that they gave me was a piece of paper, and then there would be this kind of like a horseshoe shape that would be like the, what you'd see of a, a door knocker. And that on this door knocker, I see it could be maybe just one animal or maybe two. And if you get a few more, if there's a way of your blending in your animals, maybe one is on one side and one is on the other, or one is drawn all on one, or maybe it's a three. Maybe people know how to take two or three animals and twist them around and make it braided like that. So a person, a child, teen, adult, older adult, all that they need to do is just be still and ask which animal or animals would be for them for protecting their home and welcoming guests of a high vibration. And the first animal or animals that come in are the ones that you would be drawing. And don't second guess it. So if it's an antelope, if it's a turkey, if it's a chicken, if it's a gerbil, whatever it is, that's the animal that comes to you. That person is channeling. They're getting information. So then if the person doesn't know how to draw it, mommy, mommy, I got this, but I don't know how to draw it. Fine, honey, let's go and look for pictures. And then you could go online and you could find images of that animal. Maybe you have some books that have those, or maybe you would ask that person, well, how do you, why don't you just, do you know what they, can you imagine in your mind's eye what they look like? Well, try and draw. And if the person wants to have um, that prop of a picture, fine. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It's for excitement, adventure, for connecting with the beloved spirit animal. Okay, so whether it's in black and white or color, it doesn't matter. And then after it's done, you could thank the animals and you could look up online animal totem meaning and then that animal name or the animal name spirit guide meaning or the animal's name and the messages, the energies, meaning, animal totem, spirit guidance, however you do it, you could find out what that animal has for you because it came to you or it came to your, your loved one. You also can start being on the lookout for those animals. Now, some of the animals might not even be found in your region, and that's fine. You probably aren't going to be finding an elephant in New York City, and that's fine. But if you um, see um, the Hindu god um, with the elephant, or you, you see the um, a, a statue of the elephant with the upright trunk somewhere out there, not a live one, you know that you're working with elephant energy. So be on the lookout for the animal that, or animals that you brought in to, from your consciousness and are now working with. And um, please comment below. I'd love to hear if any of you have done this exercise. Uh, so again, you're doing this exercise and it's not about perfection. It's about the enjoyment. It's about connecting with the animals and imagine that they are on this door knock knocker that you created and that, or they created, and that you then put them up on the inside of your door. If you can't put them up on the outside where there's a screen or an apartment situation where someone's not going to swipe that off your door. And you put out the intention that these animals are there for you, for your family, um, protection and welcome. So I had to I had to share this today. I received it last night and I knew that it was to be put up on YouTube. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and have a lot of fun connecting with your animals while you make this door knocker. Okay. Bye y'all.